The only thing that it's missing is finishing. So uh, you can say uh, Japanese soccer is between two goals. Yeah. Also in youth soccer. They like to play with the ball, they play between two goals. And I experienced it myself and I of the beauty of the game. That the game is uh, beautiful, that it was fun, is more important than the result. So that's of course completely different than in Germany. Ready, go! Two touches, one, two, yeah, and go! Come on, one, two, yeah. So I go in here, I look, I look, I look, yeah, again, one, two, look, 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 and I go. This DVD is about uh, technical, tactical training, and we show you on this DVD several exercises and games. So we distinguish three different soccer techniques. The first is dribbling, fainting. The second is passing. And the third is ball control. So you can train every technique in different organizational forms. Most important aspect is that you get different organizational forms for training the technique of your players. I think it's more important to rely on your strength. So uh, almost all Japanese football players are very skillful, are very quick. So if you notice that this is your strength, maybe you can make much more out of the strength. And if you see that more and more Japanese players go to Europe and play in the best leagues there, you see that they can perform on the highest level very well.